crap tomorrow morning before I start. I think I sucked up a rock. I heard a noise in the feeder house. It sounded like a rock went through there and it sounded like a good size one. Snouts. 
been doing this field for years but that snout over there hit something and it is all bent to hell damn it any straighten into that. Oh my, I never knew this road pipe was here. As many years as I have been doing this field. And there is a road pipe in here. And that snout came in and caught that road pipe this this thing has been covered up but it was just enough for that snout to get in there so man Unfortunately, we don't have any junkyards around. <sighs> Scrap yards, whatever you want to call it. Wow, what the hell am I going to do here? What the hell am I going to do here? Well, I'm gonna turn you off while I scratch my head and say a few more choice words and figure out what I'm gonna do here. All right, let's, uh, it may be a couple hours or a couple of days before I turn you back on. Man, this, things were going so smooth too. Damn it. I guess that part of the field just has bad juju in it. A lost GoPro and now a bent up snout. Uh, I'm gonna go back and get my pickup truck and the chain. And I think I'm gonna pull that out a little bit with the chain. I'm gonna try to straighten it out and then take it off of there and do some beating and banging on it all right two trucks on either side and we pulled it and straightened it and it's a little better than it was but i've called a welder fabricator in here to see what he can do with it i'm going to try to cut soybeans uh snoutless we've taken this off of here um these soybeans aren't laid over we'll we'll see how it goes let's try it I feel like a disabled person with only one, one snout on my header. At least I don't need crutches. Not yet anyway. Seems okay. But as I said, these things are standing up pretty good. Um, as long as I keep that on the outside. I, sh I should be okay. All right, here's uh, here's where we're getting into the enlist in the Roundup Ready soybean. So uh, I'm not going to continue across the end. I'm going to go down through the field there, and uh, that way I can keep these separate and see the difference in the yields. All right, 
So on the on the right hand side is the Roundup Ready. On the left hand side is the Enlist. And this is where we're going to run into a little bit of problem with that without a snout being there. It's going to hang up a little bit on that end. So that's why I want to keep that on the outside. I'm going to have to back up here and get that off of there. All right, I've gotten all the way around this field. It was on this outside edge here coming next to the corn with the few weeds in there. I wanted to drag up a little bit, but I've opened it up. So as long as I keep this on the outside, uh, I'm okay. I just talked to uh, the welder and he said it's doable. He, he can make something happen to, to get it going again. Uh, but I'm going to check with Deer first. He suggested I check with them to see availability and price for a new one. Uh, so we can determine if it's worth my money and his time to fix that one versus uh, buying a new one if it's even available. So that's where we're standing here. Uh, that sun is getting into the position now that I won't be able to see anything down here. I couldn't see anything to begin with, but it's just going to get worse. Alright, let's keep rocking and rolling here. Uh, the Birdman is dumping the, the soybeans that I already cut. I had between 350 and 400 bushels in the truck, so he's going to go ahead and dump that uh, now. And I'm gonna cut here until I can't cut anymore. When I have to go down through the middle of the field, I can keep the snoutless side in one of my uh, sprayer tracks here. And I should not have a problem then. Which you probably can't see the sprayer tracks because of the dust. But they are there, trust me. That's not a good sign. You see how that dust is just kind of hanging there from the road that I just came down. Uh, so that means it's going to be quitting time here soon. When that, when that dust stops blowing, that's not a good sign. That means the dew is going to start laying in here. Looks like my truck is back. So I can put some more on there. I've still got a ways to go before I need to dump. One arm bandit. Peg leg. Stump. Man, there's a there's a lot of different uh, nicknames I can have now. Oh heck, what have I got here? Something piling up here on the end. Okay, I got uh, shoved out of the field. The beans were starting to push up and get tough. I'm going to look up this part number for this uh, divider, see if it will give me a price online. Oh, that <coughs> darn soybean dust. <coughs> All right, so I'm looking for this number, AH. What the hell? It doesn't give me, doesn't give me a description or a price. Let's, uh, I guess I got to select a dealer. Uh, contact dealer for price. This part substitutes for this. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, absolutely useless on this price or, or on this particular part. Let's see. Can I change dealers? All right. I guess I'm calling a dealer in the morning and get more information on this part because the website is absolutely 
the website is absolutely useless uh, for this. Maybe because it's so old, I don't know. All right, um, I guess that's it for today. It's uh, seven o'clock, it's time to roll out of here and get cleaned up and have some dinner and an adult beverage. So I'm gonna say, see ya!